Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to solve a particular problem using trigonometric ratios in real life. And you'll notice here that what I've set up is a, a just a, a sample situation where we have to estimate the height of this particular tree, okay? Now, we know that we're standing 45 feet away from the base of the tree, and that actually forms our right angle. We're assuming a level ground. And we also notice that we have a 59-degree angle from where we're standing here, okay? to the top of the tree, okay? And we're using some kind of a uh, clinometer of some kind, that sort of thing. And we notice that we have 59 degrees. And we can actually estimate the height of this tree by using a trigonometric ratio. Now, which one could we use? Well, probably the one that comes uh, to mind the fastest is the, is the tangent. Because remember that the tangent of any angle, in this case, we'll say 59, is equal to the opposite side, so this side here, over the adjacent side, which we know to be 45 feet. So we can actually begin to solve this problem by saying that the tangent of 59 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is our unknown, so we'll call that our x, over 45 feet, which we do know. Okay? Now, we can go to our calculators and look up the tangent of 59 degrees. So take out your calculator and remember that the tangent button is located right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up and enter. Let me clear that out. The tangent, press the button of tangent, and then 59. And you'll get. That's actually an incorrect statement. Now, that actually will happen sometime. You'll notice it says minus 0.826. Now, that's wrong, and it's wrong because, let me show you. Hit the mode button. You'll notice when I go up to here where it's in mode, it, it's, it's floating, it's, you know, it's highlighted what's called radians. You don't want that to be there, okay? So go ahead and click over there. And you want it to be on this setting where it says degrees, okay? So let's do that. And let's start all over again. So hit the tangent button. So you'll hit the tangent. 59 degrees. Enter 59. And press enter. And you'll see that the now it's 1.664, okay? So that's what we're going to enter down here. 1.664 is equal to x over 45. And remember how you solve these. You can do cross products. So you get 45 times 1.664 is equal to x times 1. And that's going to give you... 45 point times 1.664 is 74.9 is equal to x. And that would basically be the height of the tree since you're in feet. Okay? So it's basically approximately, we'll say x is equal to approximately 75 feet. And that's one way of estimating the height of the tree. Okay? I hope that was helpful.